God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I welcome each and every one of us again to Moment of Intercession. Here on Moment of Intercession, we wait upon the Lord in the place of prayer and intercession. We pray for the body of Christ. We pray for our family members, our loved ones. We pray for all believers. We also pray for ourselves. And I believe the Lord has been hearing us. He has been answering us. He is the one who said, whatsoever we ask in his name, he is going to do it. And we have been asking in the name of Jesus. And the Lord has been giving to us massive testimonies and breakthroughs. And we return all the praise to him. Glory to Jesus. I want to appreciate everyone who has been following. Everyone who have been praying. I want to say thank you for your likes. Thank you for all your comments. Thank you for those who have been sharing this video i am really grateful the lord bless you the lord bless you mightily and i want to encourage us not to give up let us continue to pray the lord will always hear us as we pray in jesus name amen today our prayer focus is no more affliction no more affliction praise the lord no more affliction and we are going to read some scriptures that is going to give us an understanding that will put an end to every form and every kind of afflictions in our lives. We understand that it's not just about what we pray, but it is about the understanding behind the prayers that we pray. That is actually what produces the results and our expectations. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. I believe God today that as we pray, an end is going to come to every form of affliction in your life and in my life and in our families in the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory to Jesus. We are going to begin. We are going to begin by reading James chapter 5 verse 13. James chapter 5 verse verse 13. I want you to come along with me as we read James uh, chapter 5 verse 13. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. We are, it's very clear. He said, is any one of you afflicted? What did the Bible say we should do? He said, let him pray. When there is any, the moment you notice any form of affliction in any area of your life and your family, the Bible said, pray. Don't complain. Most times we do a lot of complaining. Uh, many a times we talk to people who are helpless in themselves to help us. They also, they are also looking up to God for help. And God is saying to us here that when you notice an affliction, he didn't say that you should keep quiet. He said you should pray. And what are you going to pray? You pray against it. We have seen so many people who were afflicted in the Bible and then we saw how Jesus came and rescued each and every Every one of them from the affliction so he said once you notice that you are afflicted he said go ahead and pray so that is what we want to do today any kind i believe god today that whatever kind of affliction that you may be going through as we pray each and every all of the afflictions will be destroyed in the name of Jesus and you'll be set free and you'll be set loose. The Holy Spirit that backs the word of God will go and break every chain of affliction in your life and in your family in the name of Jesus. And then we are also going to read Isaiah, Isaiah 63. We're going to read Isaiah 63 verse 9. Isaiah 63 uh, verse 9. Isaiah 63 verse 9. In all their affliction, he was afflicted. Talking about God. He said, why the children of Israel were afflicted? He said, God himself was afflicted. He said, in all their affliction, he was also afflicted. He said, and the angel of his presence saved them. In his love and in his pity, he redeemed them. And he bare them. And carry them all the days of old. So in all the afflictions, God was also afflicted. And the Bible says that the angel of his presence 
went and saved them. The same way the angel of his presence is saving you today from every form and every kind of afflictions in the name of Jesus. Uh, we, before we also continue, there is a scripture I would love us to read uh, in uh, 2 Chronicles. 2 Chronicles chapter 16. 2 Chronicles chapter 16 verse 9. It's a powerful scripture. Since the day I saw this scripture, I knew that God is actually interested in saving everyone who is afflicted. God is looking for people to help. God is even looking around for those who he can show himself strong in their lives. And today, God by his mighty power is going to show himself strong in your life in my life, in my family, and in your family, and we shall return with testimonies in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, can we read um, 2 Chronicles chapter 16? Can we read verse 9? 2 Chronicles 16 verse 9. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. Herein thou hast done foolishly, therefore, from henceforth thou shalt have wars. This was God yeah, speaking through his prophet to, to uh, King Asa. He said, God is looking for who to help. The first day I saw this scripture, I was like, God is looking for who to help. And it changed my understanding. It means that many a times when we sit down and we complain, God is actually interested in helping us. And a good number of times we don't really come to him, you know, to pray. We complain. What we do a lot of time is that we do a lot of complaining. But the scripture here said, the eyes of the Lord is running to and fro, like he's running to and fro right now. And he's looking for those to show himself strong on behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. Do you love God? Are you born again? Your heart. Is your heart connected to him? Then God is looking for how to help you. The Bible says God's eyes is going to and fro to show himself strong on your behalf. God's eyes is going to and fro to show himself strong on my behalf. I think that is that is great. So the Lord is going to show himself strong on your behalf today in the name of Jesus. The Lord will show himself strong on my behalf today in the name of Jesus. The Lord is going to hear our cry. He's going to answer our prayers. He's going to show that he's mighty. He's going to show his might. He's going to show his power. In our lives, the Lord will reveal his strength. In our lives, the Lord is going to show that indeed he's willing and is interested in helping us. Praise the Lord. Now, before we begin to, you know, receive help from the Lord to break every form of affliction, whether financial affliction, unemployment affliction, poverty affliction, you know, affliction in our bodies, any kind of form of affliction. The Lord is interested. His eyes is running to and fro and his eyes is stayed on me and he stayed on you right now to break every chain and every form of affliction. And that was why Jesus said in Isaiah 61 that this is one of the reasons why he is anointed. He is anointed to break every yoke in our lives, to set the captives free. So whatever kind, whatsoever represents captivity in your life, that is the speciality of Jesus, to destroy every captivity and set the prisoners free. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But before we pray, I want us to worship the Lord. Can we just appreciate him? This God is a wonderful God whose eyes run to and fro looking for who is going to show himself strong in their lives and even on their behalf. Can we say, Father, we thank you. Lord, we worship your name. Father, we are grateful for indeed you hear our prayers. Every time we cry unto you, you answer us. Every time we call upon your name, you hear us. Lord, thank you for the testimonies of the past. Thank you for the great and mighty things you are going to do. Thank you you father because even today as we pray you are bringing an end to every form of afflictions in our bodies in our health in our spirit in our soul every financial affliction is coming to an end we worship your holy name because you are a good god you are a kind god the blood of your son jesus christ bought the 
but everything that is needed for our liberation. And we have come today to receive freedom from every affliction. Father, we bless your name. Lord, we thank you for always hearing us here on moment of intercession. Thank you for all the testimonies. Thank you for answers to all our prayers. Lord, we worship your name. Thank you for the yokes you are breaking today. Thank you for setting all the prisoners free. Lord, we worship your name. We give you all the glory. Blessed be your name, most high, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. We worship you, Lord. You are good to us. You are faithful to us. You are kind to us. We worship you. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Jesus is always ready to set free those who are afflicted. Whether he was aware or not, the woman received her freedom, total freedom, even without Jesus being aware. Because I want you to understand that Jesus is ever ready. You remember the man who came to him, he said, If thou will, thou can make me whole. What was the response of Jesus? He said, I will, be thou whole. I will, I am willing. I am not interested in seeing you afflicted. It's not my delight to see you in pain. Why will you say if I am willing? Of course I am willing. And he said, the man, be whole, be made whole. He said, if thou will, you can make me whole. But Jesus made him understand that I am more than willing. In fact, I am in haste to make you whole. And Jesus is in haste right now to break every form of affliction from your life from your family, from your finances, and even from your home. In the name of Jesus. Can you say, Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Because you are more than willing. I need not ask you whether you are willing to break every form of affliction in my life. For I know you are willing. I know you are interested in breaking me free. I know that the pain is not your delight. I know that the, 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 the challenges and the afflictions is not your desire. You are in haste to set me free. Lord Jesus, I worship you. Lord Jesus, I worship you. Lord Jesus, I honor you. Lord, we are grateful. Spirit of the living God, we thank you. The spirit of freedom and liberation. The spirit that destroys yokes and affliction. Father, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. Ancient of days, we worship you. Worship you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you praise, Most High. In the name of Jesus, can you begin to pray right now? Can you say, Father, let an end come to this affliction? Maybe the affliction is in your health, is in your body. God said his eyes is running to and fro to break you free. Can you say by the blood of Jesus, by the stripes that Jesus received, because of me, I am whole. He said by his stripes, ye were healed. Can you begin to pray and say I am healed in the name of Jesus, by the stripes of Jesus, the blood of Jesus purchased for me enough healing, enough healing for every affliction in my body, for every affliction in my soul, for every affliction affliction in my family. The stripes that Jesus received was enough payment for my healing. He bought my healing. He bought my deliverance. Even by his stripes. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Go ahead and pray. This affliction is coming to an end. This affliction ends now. For by his stripes I am made whole. This affliction comes to an end in the name of Jesus. This affliction comes to an end in my body. This affliction comes to, my, to an end in the name of Jesus. Can you begin to pray whatever kind of affliction? Can you begin to call upon the name of the Lord? Can you begin to receive help now? The eyes of the Lord is going to and fro. It could be employment affliction. Can you pray and say, Father, it comes to an end. Everyone was employed. The Bible says that the man saw them and he said, why are you not doing anything? And they said, sir, no man hired us. And he said, you too, go to the vineyard and begin to work. And God employed people, even at the 
sixth hour is still kept employing. The, uh, the, 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 the affliction of joblessness and unemployment is breaking over someone's life now. In the name of Jesus, every job, every employment that has refused to come, we open the door for them now. We open the door for employment. That affliction is over. In the name of Jesus, that affliction of pain and poverty is over. In the name of Jesus, that affliction comes to an end right now. In the name of Jesus, that affliction comes to an end. Affliction in your body, it comes to an end now. In the name of Jesus, affliction in your finances, it comes to an end now. In the name of Jesus. I want you to understand something. Jesus was never stranded, even financially. If you have this understanding, even when it looks like you don't have anything and there are so many needs to be met, you understand that the God that is in you, the God that loves you, can never leave you stranded. He will make a way out. He will make a way of escape. The Bible says that they asked Jesus to pay tax. Uh, tax. The Bible says that they asked Jesus to pay tax. And he didn't have, you know, the cash. But supernaturally, there was a supernatural provision. Jesus said, go to the, to the sea nearby. The first fish that you catch... Bring out the money from his mouth and pay. It means that you can't catch Jesus in any corner. He cannot be stranded. When they came to him and said, look at this multitude. They have nothing to eat and we have no money to buy them food. And even if we have money, where are we going to get enough food to feed this great multitude? And the Bible said that Jesus already knew in his heart what he was going to do. It shows that. He can never be stranded. And I believe I cannot be stranded. It does not matter how it looks. It does not matter how it appears. You cannot be stranded. I decree. Can you begin to pray and say, Lord, I refuse to be stranded. Can you pray over that challenge, over that financial hardship? There is a need to be met. There is a need to be met that requires finance. Can you begin to declare, I cannot be stranded. In the name of Jesus. If Jesus was not stranded, I refuse to be stranded. I cannot be stranded. I cannot be stranded. The Bible said because of of us he took on the the, the the robe of poverty he became poor that we can be rich and if in his poverty if in his poverty he was not stranded then what happens now that he's seated in glory what happens now that we are seated with him in glory if jesus poverty cannot be stranded then you cannot be stranded i cannot be stranded can you begin to pray and decree let there be financial flow of favor let there be financial flow of favor let there be financial flow of favor we have an inexhaustible reservoir of provisions and in christ jesus we have all things we have everything that we need can you pray can you decree it this is the word of the lord unto us can you declare it and say let there be financial miracle I receive financial miracle I pray now let there be financial miracle that brings you out of that financial hardship in the name of Jesus father we receive financial miracle Lord for that need in our lives for every need in our lives we receive financial miracle we receive financial miracle we receive financial miracle in the name of Jesus for everyone pray right now Lord let there be financial miracle let there be financial Financial miracle. Let there be financial miracle in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for you. For everyone in captivity, let the yoke break now. In the name of Jesus, let every physical affliction be over. Let every affliction in your body be over. In the name of Jesus, for Jesus is more than willing even to set you free than to break the yoke and the chains of affliction. That affliction is over. Whatever kind of affliction in your body, your spirit, your family, your marriage is over. That affliction comes to an end right now. In the name of Jesus, I decree you free. Jesus sets you free and therefore you are free. Whoever the Father set free is free indeed. I declare that the Father sets you free in the name of Jesus and you are free indeed. In every aspect of life you are free. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I believe God the Lord has had us. If you also agree with me, can we give him praise? Can we worship him? Father, we thank you for hearing us. Thank you for answering our prayers. Every time we call upon you, you hear us. Every time we cry unto you, you answer us. Faithful are you, most high God. Faithful are you, Father. We thank you for your faithfulness. Lord, thank you for your faithfulness. Father, thank you for your goodness. We worship you, most high. We exalt your holy name. We adore you, O oh Lord. We give you all the glory. Thank you for that financial miracle. Thank you, Lord, for that health miracle. Thank you for healing miracle. Thank you. The affliction is over. The pain is over. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, O oh Lord, for showing yourself strong on our behalf. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for showing yourself mighty. Thank you for helping us. Thank you for helping us. Thank you for raising us up. Everyone bent over financially. Thank you for raising us up straight like you did to that woman. Everyone bent over as a result of sickness and affliction. Thank you for the deliverance. Thank you for the healing that you paid for by your stripes. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise because it is done. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Uh, I want to thank each and every one of us for praying. I also want to encourage us, continue to pray, continue to prevail in a place of prayers, continue to declare the word of the Lord. The world is settled even before we came. Whatsoever we are asking for has already been provided. So we come in and we take them in the place of prayer. And I know that the Lord has heard you. Been receiving testimonies even from every, from people, from those who God has changed, from those who God has touched. Please send in your testimonies. Please and please share this video. There are people who need to pray too. There are people who need to pray along with us. And as you share this video, the Lord bless you mightily. Till I come your way again, this is moment of intercession. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.